What's up my friends, Thomas Hernandez back at you with another Claim of Confidence video. This is going to be video number one in a new series I am calling Understanding Cleaning Chemicals. For those of you who love details and like to know how stuff works and maybe a little bit of chemistry, you're going to love this video. But for some of you, the stuff that I talk about in this video, it's going to sound like blah 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 blah. So let's find out what kind of person you are. So what is cleaning? Cleaning is the removal of unwanted soil, like oil and grease, from a surface like shirts, floors, mirrors, counters, you name it, etc. It's a very rewarding process and it's awesome. To effectively clean, you need two things. You need water and you need a chemical called a surfactant. Surfactants transform ordinary water into a magic potion, basically. However, in order to understand how this works, we need to go over a little bit of chemistry first. The first thing you need to understand is how water reacts on a surface. Water has what's called a high surface tension. It's made up of two hydrogen atoms, so H2, and one oxygen atom, O, H2O. And because of this chemical makeup, water molecules tend to stick together through a process called hydrogen bonding. In English, it basically means that when you put water on a surface, that water likes to bead up, you know, into little droplets, and it prevents it from spreading out on the surface. So if it's not going to spread out, it can't penetrate the soil, it can't clean. It's almost like the water is being repelled by the surface, which means it has a high surface tension. I'm going to do a demonstration of that here in a moment. But they call that high surface tension and as a result water is a horrible cleaner by itself. So enter the surfactant. When you add a surfactant to water it changes those chemical properties and it interferes with those water molecules bonding together. It's kind of like when you and your girl were trying to hang out and her little brother kept coming in and interfering. Yeah, like that. Here's a visual representation on a piece of paper for you. Plain water beads up water plus the surfactant as you can see you know we've got our surface right here the water hydrogen bonding is going on the water sticking together water plus the surfactant it's spreading out it's able to spread out and penetrate that surface penetrate that soil high surface tension low surface tension i want you to watch the reaction of the water when this water hits this plate okay See how that water beads up? Look at that. Now I got a second plate. Watch what happens when I spray it with a water plus surfactant. There it goes. You can see the cleaner really spreading out. Let's take a look. Water's on the right. Water plus surfactant on the left. So now let's get into the good part and talk about how this process actually works. This is a surfactant on a microscopic level. It has two ends, this end right here and this end. This end right here is a cluster of atoms and it carries an electrical charge. There's different types of surfactants. Some are positively charged, some are negatively charged, some carry a little bit less negative charge than others, but regardless of their charge, they all work the exact same way. This end that has the charge, it's hydrophilic, basically means it loves water. It loves to be surrounded by water. This end right here, this chain right here, is hydrophobic, and it hates water. Water makes it matter than an alcoholic little person when the whiskey's on the top shelf. No pun intended to little people. The end right here is a chain of carbon and hydrogen atoms, and it carries no charge. This end is repelled by water, and it will seek out and attach itself to anything that isn't water. Specifically oil and grease, for instance. This is surfactants in action. The surfactants, the cleaning solution, is sprayed down onto our surface. It's got our soil here. And as you can see, they attach themselves, this end, the hydro, hydro, hydrophobic end that hates water, attaches itself to the soil, penetrates it, attaches itself. And uh, as you can see, it's just, it's got a grip on that soil. Now, as you can see, once these molecules have attached themselves to the, to the soil, the uh, electrical part starts to do its job and take effect. And they start to really pull that soil up off that surface. Once the soil has been completely pulled from the surface, um, as you can see, it just kind of floats up there above the surface. The leftover surfactants down here kind of 
it repels that soil from being redeposited back onto your clean surface. And eventually what happens is that these uh, surfactants here just continue to pull apart the soil into little bitty pieces and eventually emulsify that soil into the cleaning solution. I want you to think about a dirty floor. Pretend you had a very, very dirty floor and you put your cleaning solution on the floor and then you started to scrub it with a deck brush, the solution would become very, very dirty because the soil would be lifted from the floor, right? And then these surfactants would, because of their similar charge, you know, magnetism, rips that dirt, that dirt soil apart and just emulsifies it and dissolves it into the liquid, making that water, that liquid very dirty if that makes sense. Hope this makes sense. So that is how cleaning products work, my friends. You can find surfactants in just about everything from hand soaps, dish soap, laundry detergents, cleaning products, toothpastes. It's a jungle out there. So that's it, my friends. If you like this video, give it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more great content. And until we meet again, take the information that you've just learned with you on your next date with your significant other. And right before your server comes out and serves that warm, delicious platter with crispy coconut shrimp and mango horseradish, take the time to share on surfactants.